Hi class, in this short lecture, what I want to talk about is probability with the fundamental counting principle, permutations, and combinations. So we're going to be computing probabilities in which we, unlike the previous section, um, what we had to do was we just you know, figured out what the sample space was, how many times it could happen, and then just simple division. Here we have to count the number of ways a certain event can happen, and then divide that by the count of the total number of possible outcomes. Okay, so the two objectives really are going to be to compute probabilities with permutations and compute probabilities with the combinations. Both those formulas we learned how to do in um, previous um, lectures. Okay, so here's an example. Okay, this is with probability and permutations. So six, jo six jokes about books by the following people Marx, Blitzer, White, Youngman, Seinfeld, and Diller are each written on one of six cards. Okay, so we've got jokes by all these comedians on six cards okay the cards are placed in a hat all right imagine they're shuffled up and drawn one at a time what is the probability that a man's joke will be delivered first and a woman's joke will be delivered last okay so first thing you have to figure out is we're going to write it as the probability the man first woman last so it's the number of permutations of man's jokes first and then we also need a woman's joke last Okay, so we need to divide that by the total number of possible permutations. Well, first off, the total number of possible permutations, all right, for this is for the first joke, there's six times five, for the second times third, for the fourth, third times three times two times one. So six times five times four times three times two times one. There are 720 different ways that we can pull the jokes out of the book or out of the hat. Okay, so then to use the fundamental um, counting principle to find um, the number of permutation with a man's jokes first, then a woman's joke last. Well, if you look back here, there are five men, um, Marx, Blitzer, Wright, Youngman, Seinfeld. The only woman is Phyllis Diller. So the way you have to figure out then is you have to tell the first uh, five jokes have to be men's jokes. So there's five options for the first times four times three times two times one. And then when you get to the sixth joke, there's only one joke you could to pick from because you want it to be the woman's joke, so times one. So there ends up being 120 permutations of which a man's joke is delivered first and a woman's joke is delivered last. So the probability of a man first, woman last, that can happen 120 ways. There are 700 total, total outcomes. This probability is equal to just one-sixth. Okay, that's what 120 divided by 720 reduces to, reduces to one-sixth. All right, let's try this one. <clears throat> so this is about Powerball. So Powerball is a multi-state lottery played in most U.S. states. All right, it is the first lottery game to randomly draw numbers from two drums. Okay, this is important. There's two drums. The game is set up so that each player chooses five different numbers from one to fifty-nine. Okay, those are the first the first numbers you have to choose. You have to choose. Listen to how I'm saying this. You have to choose five numbers from the numbers one to fifty-nine. And then you have to choose one Powerball number from the numbers 1 to 35. Okay, so twice per week, five white balls are drawn randomly from that drum with 59 white balls, all right, numbered 1 to 59. And then one red Powerball is drawn randomly from that drum of 35 balls, okay? So a player wins the jackpot by matching all five numbers drawn, okay, from the white balls in any order. So order doesn't matter, so they're telling you there that it's combinations. And then also the matching number from the red Powerball. All right, so with, if you just buy one $2 Powerball ticket, okay, what is the probability of winning this jackpot? Okay, so because the order of the first five numbers shown on the white ball does not matter, this situation obviously involves combinations. So we begin with the probability of, um, with, the, with the formula for probability. So I want to win, okay? So the probability that you uh, win is equal to the number of ways you win divided by the total number of combinations. Okay, so first thing, all right, you gotta figure out um, how many different ways you can choose the five numbers from the 59. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that's just 59 choose five, and you can see the formula there, um, or you can use your calculator for this. So 59 choose five, this, there ends up being 5,006,386 ways. You could just choose the first uh, five numbers from 59. Okay, but then what do you need to do next? Well, the next, you still need to pick the Powerball. 
So next we must determine the number of ways of selecting the red Powerball. Okay, so because there are 35 red Powerballs in the second drum, you only have to select one. So there's 35 different possible ways you could do that, okay, because it's one of the 35. So then we can use the fundamental counting principle to find the total number of possible outcomes. Well, I have to choose the five balls first, multiply by the number of ways I could choose the last ball. And it turns out that there is 1,175,223,510 ways, right? That some that are winning com or 10 com 510 combinations for Powerball. So if a person buys just one ticket, that person has selected only one combination of numbers, right? So with one Powerball ticket, this is the probability that you win. It's one in 175,223,510. So very, very small probability that you'll win your Powerball. All right, let's try this one. So a club consists of five men and seven women. Okay, so there's eight total people, right? Or excuse me, yeah, 12 total people, okay? Three members are selected at random to attend a conference. Okay, so we have the 12 total club members, all right, and I want to just select three of them at random to go to this conference, okay? Find the probability the selected group consists of exactly three men. Okay, so order of selection here doesn't matter, right, because if you're selected first or third, you're still going on to the conference. So this involves uh, combinations. So it's the probability of three men is equal to the number of ways you can select three men divided by the total number of possible combinations. All right, well, how many ways can, how many different ways can you select three men? Well, look, there's five men. I wanna select three of them. How about the total number of possible outcomes? Well, there's 12 club members and I wanna select three of them. Okay, so the club um, consists of five men and seven women. Okay, so three are selected at random. So the first thing I'm gonna figure out here is the 12 choose three is the total number of possible combinations. Well, if you plug 12 choose three in your calculator, there are 220 possible three person um, selections. So that's gonna go in the denominator. Now what you need to figure out is the uh, numerator here. So the number of ways you can select the five men. Well, there's five men, I wanna choose three of them. Well, just following the formula, five choose three is 10. So the probability that you select three men is the number of ways of selecting the three men, which were 10, divided by the total number of possible combinations, which were 220. So this just simply reduces to one out of every 22 times you do this, you select three people, it will be all men.